Hi there, I'm Whitney. I'm John. And today we are doing a quick little intro for the segregation study. We're super excited to start this project. And it's going to be quick. Back to the topic at hand. Topic at hand. Um, so we're starting off the segregation study. So John ran a preliminary mix today and then... you dang right I did. We started... I'm going to slug you again. We started talking about why we do preliminary mixes. Um, and I feel like it was a... I just like making concrete, so I made an excuse up. And That's I just true. Make he does one that. more batch of concrete for every project that we do. No, honestly, it was, what, three years ago or so? Yeah. yeah we yeah, yeah. Uh, we were running this huge 494 project, and we hadn't used some of the, I think we wound up having crushed rock, and we thought it was rounded rock, and when we started prepping, we realized it was crushed. No, 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 no. We know the difference between crushed and rounded rock. No, we were planning on using rounded, but our technician picked up crushed. Right. And we didn't realize that it was crushed rock that he picked up until we were, like, ready to do the mixes. Yeah, that was that was really my fault. I should have checked. Well, um, but, but but then Yeah, we didn't see it and you know had him weigh everything up. I designed right. it. Even had River Based Rock on on, rock. River right. rock on there. Um, and you know, we were weighing up hundreds of pounds at a time for a mix. Right. So by the time the time we got there you have, you know, four buckets tall, three rows deep, just for the aggregate. Right. And it's like well you know, it's 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 a Thursday afternoon. Oh, it was, it was we, we right around Halloween. We like can't was... go get more ag, so we're like, got to right. run the mix. Right. Which, I mean, theoretically, if we had dialed it in, if we knew it was crushed right. rock and had planned for it... It wouldn't have been a problem, but... Well, and the water, like, just the mix design in general right. is is different. The proportions are different if you're using uh, crushed versus very, rounded. Well, the specific gravities were definitely different, but at the very least, if you look at ACI 211, with non air and train concrete, when you're using rounded rock, you can take 20 pounds of water per cubic yard out. Right. And for air and train, you can take 25 pounds of water out. So at the very least, for this, I think it was a non air and train mix, yep. we would have had to have added 20 extra pounds of water. Right. But then just having to realize that on the fly and adjust, and it just, like, it, it was you just a lot. You don't think of those things. Like, who remembers the Note six from ACI two eleven dash ninety one on page you know five. When you're in the thick of it, and these those you know table three. That's a big project too, so it's like There's you're you're already a little 2. 3. right. Right. You're already a little tense, kind of going into it just because of the magnitude of it. So so that was you know after we kind of went through that. The mixer was actually broken too. That was the old nine cubic foot capacity. Right. Mixer. Right. Gosh. So yeah, there were a lot of things, but we because of that we were like we need to start, especially with these large scale batches that we're doing. We need to start running preliminary mixes just to get a feel for the material. Is if there's there... excessive fines on the crushed rock or whatever, right. like you just right, right, you right, need right, to right. know these things so that you can adjust the mix accordingly before you totally. go to a you know five or six or whatever or cubic even a foot two mix. Cubic foot mix is three hundred right. pounds of material. Right. You know, I would rather do eighty pounds, and you're not doing just one mix. Normally, we're running at least four mixes. Right. So you do four times three hundred. You're looking at twelve hundred pounds, so over a thousand pounds of material. You, know, you have to get all that material again because you didn't do a prelim or you didn't right. know that the admixture was going to do this. One of the uh, one of the admixtures that we worked on, we didn't do. This is another project where we didn't run a prelim and we used the admixture. And this was I I I, I can't say the name of it because right. the name of it is the right. type of admixture, but it killed air, mm -hmm. killed slump, right. you know, killed strengths, no matter right. what we did, right. the mix was very hard to recover. Right. It was impossible to recover, but we were adding water more high range and noting everything, but if we had seen it right. in a prelim mix, we would have been able to plan for it and right. it would have been a lot easier to manage. Well, and we usually do, the prelim mixes are usually smaller too, like a lot of times we'll do it in the bucket mixer or whatever, but it's just just to get a feel for the materials and get to know it a little bit before we commit to these huge, huge mixes that that are a lot harder to recover. Manage. And, yeah. So we're running this project right now on segregation uh, and how uh, the water 
content and high range water reducer content, and the combination of the two will impact the uh, segregation. Yeah, the, the sensitivity. To yeah, excellent. Because that's what we use there, and I'm looking for it. Identify the sensitivity to oh, segregation. Oh, fantastic. It's on the freaking board. Thank you, Hannah. You're right. awesome. Um, so, to do that, we have to run 16 mixes. And 16 mixes, even a small mix, it's a lot of material, so what we want to do is run a preliminary mix. And that's what we did. We ran a preliminary mix. We used what a... you did. Don't that's right. have to Don't correct that. that. So we used ASTMC, somebody's got attitude today, 1260 where it designates 440 grams of Portland cement, 990 grams of sand. We bumped that up by I think 25% so we can have enough for our mini slump cone. And then we ran our water cementitious ratio at a 0.43. Um, and the reason why we did that, that was around the middle of the road of what we were doing. Uh, from there we added, we didn't add any high range, got a nice uh, stiffer mix. And then we slowly added our high range water reducer first at three mils, uh, and that was Optima 258 EMX. Mm. And you can see that the slump is increasing uh, significantly. And then finally, we added another three mils, and you can see that our, our grout has totally pancaked out. Mm -hmm. There's even a little bit of a halo, and sure. that's what we're trying to achieve with this project here. Just see that increase over time. So we ran that pre limb mix to make sure that the mixes that we designed. We're going to work for the entire project. So now that we checked that out, we're going to weigh up 16 mixes and get the project going. Cool. No guessing. No guessing. Amen. So that's why we do prelim mixes. Yep. Thanks for your time today. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!